Hello everyone, my name is Corky Sturb, uh, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about Papa's Pizzeria speedrunning and the manipulation that goes into it, and how uh, long it takes, and hopefully after this video we can get something settled to where we don't need to have to do this manipulation every single time, uh, because there is a way to... Uh, modify the game files to allow this modification not to happen. So I already set up a rank 5 uh, file. This is, I just went straight to rank 5. So the manipulation is, if you take orders, you'll see in the bottom left after the order's almost done, they have a cook time. And there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's seven different spots that it could be, and uh, you can get everyone to be a one-tick customer uh, as long as you see them as the last customer. So this can take a while, especially since for rank five you have to go through um, every sing you have to go through all what like nine customers I think. And you have to see them as the last customer. And there's about 20 seconds in between each customer as long as you stay on the screen uh, for when they show up. So as you can see, Penny was also um, flat. It wasn't a one tick. Now, Taylor's order doesn't matter because he's only past rank 5. Um, Rita is straight down. That's a four tick, I think. Alright, so we're halfway through uh, rank 6 day. Even Kingsley, which normally is already manipulated because you see him as the last customer on rank 1. He is straight down actually normally. Um, the only reason you never really notice that he's not a one tick customer is because you always he's always pre-manipulated. Because he's always the second customer you ever see, which is... The first ever quote unquote closer. So Penny is half. I think this should be the last customer. Nope, nope. Got one more. And speaking of which. Cooper is the only ever customer that's set to one tick. He is the only one who's ever set to one tick. So I was wrong. On uh, When you're doing the manipulation, you actually have to go through seven customers at once. Unless you go through the... Um, unless you do it on like rank four or an earlier day. And then just go for the ones. So as you can see, Marty is now a one tick cook time. So let me speed this up real quick um, and hopefully get to a point where I see Marty again or the next day when we get the next closer and then uh, you'll see the difference and hopefully it's one we've seen before. All right, so uh, we're back to Marty, and as you can see, uh, his cook time is saved at one tick. So that's pretty much how the manipulation goes. Um, I'm going to do one more customer just to show uh, that it happens for every customer. So we wait for, and we got kind of lucky because I was kind of afraid Marty was going to be the last customer again, and we'd have to repeat. All right, so we got, uh, what is this, Maggie? So we got Maggie. And we saw Maggie before. I don't remember what her cook time was. Now you can see that it's one tick again. So we can quit the game. And hopefully we'll see Maggie again real quick. Um, I'm going to speed up until we see Maggie.
All right. Um, so this is actually the case I was talking about where you actually get unlucky. And Maggie actually showed up as the closer again. So her tick speed was already one. Um, so I can't show anything. But her tick speed's about to be one again. And yeah. So this just shows that it constantly sets them to one whenever they're closer. Um, and now I want to show a way uh, or why this happens and uh, what we can do to just pre-manipulate this to not save this because stuff like this can happen where I've only, I went through three days. Um, I went through three days and only got two customers manipulated. So let me hop into uh, the flash editor real quick. All right. So here we are in a uh, handy dandy little flash editor. And so uh, first we're going to take a look. This is the Papa's Pizzeria uh, underscore S2 SWF. And we're going to go into the scripts and packages, then Roy game models. And this is where everything dealing with the customers is. So right now we're in the customer file. And this is a bunch of variables. And if you want to know all this, I can talk to you guys on Discord about it. Um, if you want to join the Papa Louis Discord. But if you scroll down, there's actually this variable right here, or this function right here, called short and wait time. And this is what you see whenever someone is the quote unquote closer. And what this basically does is it checks for your rank to check how many customers are supposed to be in the day. And then what the current order is. So if you are like, like we were on rank five and there were seven customers, it checks if, uh, it checks your rank. So there's supposed to be seven customers. And then it checks if you are the seventh customer. And then it changes this variable to one. Which here, that it's this variable right here. And it'll be this, what this two is, it'll change this to a one. Now, that'll be different for every single customer. So if we go here to this folder called customers, you'll see a long list of customers. And this is every single customer in the game in order. So like one, this is Cooper. Um, and so let me try and find uh, Marty right here. So Marty, we saw he had a three cook, or that was the first person we manipulated. He has normally a three cook time. So that's the downward right diagonal. Um, so what we can do is we can actually edit the script and just change this to one. And then we can do that for every single customer. So Kingsley, edit action script, change that four. Do a one. Customer six. Him. Edit action script. Four. Now it's a one. Uh, Big Polly. Three. Now it's a one. And we can do that for every single customer. And this does nothing. It gives you zero advantage over anyone who wants to do the regular manipulation as you can still do it it does the same thing uh this is just speeding up the process for anyone who wants to run this game um because anytime you close a uh, flash player it does it resets the uh manipulated cook time so we did one through nine um let's see and then 10 is taylor so you don't need to do him so Customers one through nine all have um, manipulated cook times. Um, so now we can, I'm going to save this. I just saved over my regular file, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to save this and we're going to go back to uh, the flash player. So give me one second. All right. So here we go. Um, just started up the flash player again. So here we go. 
We still have our ring five file. So first we're gonna get Taylor. So Taylor we didn't manipulate as we showed. He was still a normal cook time. So let's get through his order. As you can see, normal cook time. And then wait for the second customer to show up. Give it half a second and a little bit more. Uh, and they will be a one cook time. So here's Big Polly. We never manipulated him before. But you can see he's a one cook time. And just to prove he's a normal one cook time, we can go here. Make his order real quick. In the oven. And we can wait for that to cook a little bit. Five to a little music. Oh, here's Marty. We did manipulate you before. Still a one cook time. That normally doesn't happen because every time you close Flash Player, it does reset. But see, now we got Pig Polly's order. We cooked it. Finish it, and 93%. That means pretty much manipulated, we pretty much got it as good enough. So every single customer is gonna be like this. Uh, Rita, just to show one more and prove it. Did I miss Rita? <laughs> That's a little embarrassing if I, I'd probably miss Rita. Let me double check. I missed Rita. That is my bad. <laughs> uh, Kingsley, we saw he was a straight down cook time. And now he's a one cook time. So I'm going to leave a file below um, in the description that has uh, all the cook times preset to one cook time um, that you can normally set. And Rita was just my accident. Um, I just forgot. I just skipped over Rita for some reason. But yeah. So there will be a file in the description that has all these pre-manipulated cook times. So... If you can see, minus Rita, you can see how much of a difference it is of just having this one cook time for every single customer. It saves so much time, and there's been times where I've been sitting here for an hour, hour and a half, two hours just trying to manipulate a rank 5 run. And it's even longer if you want to manipulate an any percent run, because you have to go through every single customer besides Papa Louie. They have all these customers you have to manipulate. So, hopefully this helps everyone. Um, thank you guys for watching. And, so.